Well here we are, we've come to the River Loddon in deepest Berkshire and uh, I've got barbel on my mind today but unfortunately I'm not too sure whether we're going to get to the river because we've got a slight obstacle in our way um, in the shape of this uh, mighty looking chap. I'm not too sure, uh, he looks quite sweet but it's the actual horns that I'm worried about and I'm going to have to actually cover up my red jersey because uh, it might be an old wise tale but I'm not going to take any chances and I'm going to have to give this one a a, well, well, a very wide berth I think so uh, we'll get over the stone and we'll see if we can uh, creep round him This style of fishing is all about me actually finding the fish, not actually the fish finding the bait. I'll, I'll be long gone before fish from downstream move into this uh, swim if they do. Um, as I said, about 20 minutes in the swim is, uh, is about all I'll give it. Maybe a little bit longer if I get a few good taps. Sometimes in a swim you'll get a few knocks straight away and then it'll go quiet. That might be because a barbel's moved in. So bear that in mind, you never know, you might just drop in onto a shoulder barbel. That is what I'm trying to do today, is to drop it into a swim that's got six or seven fish in there just grouped up. Drop a bait in there and uh, the six barbel are going to be sitting there going, well if I don't have it, he's going to have it. So you're looking for that instant actual uh, response. So um, it is all about going to the fish and finding the fish. The actual contrast between a stretch of river in the summer and the winter is completely um, different. As you can imagine, in the summer today, everything is overgrown with different weed, rushes, uh, water lilies, cabbages. Um, and where I'd be looking for barbel and chub is where you've got a pool, a deeper pool, and then it's running off into some gravel um, as it shallowens up at the back of a pool. Um, that's what I'd be looking for and some kind of overhanging bushes on the far bank. Um, they'd be sitting there cleaning themselves off. So, uh, And then in the winter obviously um, all the weed's gone so the fish haven't got any kind of cover or safety or um, weed above their head. So the straight, the straight away they're going to go under the kind of overhanging trees and in slightly deeper areas and shaded areas. So uh, you do have to uh, target different areas in uh, different times of the year. So. Uh, gravel in the summer, uh, it doesn't have to be deep, quite shallow, quite often you can spot the fish on the shallow just moving into the actual darkness of the far bank overhangs and uh, in the winter um, looking for a, you know overhanging trees, uh, weed rafts above are good and slightly deeper water. Eventually I'm into a fish. It's pretty powerful and it's going for the tree, but I'm pretty sure it's not what I was after, which is a barbel, because this fish is really, really going, really, really, it's a big chub that is. And as chub always do, they try and get under the bank. It's a good chub. In she goes, so <laughs> at last, that's hard earned actually. A lot of I've just gone a lot of through a lot of swims that I kind of like haven't fished for years and I've had hardly any 
indication. I think I've had one bite in about six or seven swims and then I just thought, sod this, let's go back up into the swims that I know. At least we've got a chub in the net. It's not a blank. When you actually use pellet, it doesn't matter what fish is in the actual uh, river. Pellet were, is such an absolutely fantastic bait. I mean, obviously my target today is, uh, is a barbel. But I've just weighed this fish and at five pound one ounce, it's, uh, it's a cracking chub for uh, at any time of the year. And that fish would, but you know, once it's filled out, it's gonna be a lot bigger, but fish are feeding definitely. Um, it's just a matter of me actually roving around and getting and dropping a big lump of pellet, you know, and a pellet on, the, on a barbel's nose. And without a doubt, if I can actually do that, I will get a bite from a barbel. Maybe next time I come fishing, um, it's going to be worth putting some sort of crayfish on because I don't know if you can actually see, but coming out of this fish's back end, and I don't particularly like doing that, but that to me is the remains of a crayfish. There's a claw. They might be uh, a nightmare in our water, but they're uh, certainly making our fish get bigger. I'm, I'm well happy with that. Um, it's not the barbel, but it's a start. It's still early in the day. We've got you know a few hours left, quite a few swims that I can actually rove around in, and uh, hopefully a barbel will come along just to actually make it an absolutely superb day. tip for you is I've just had a chub out of this swim but I'm quite confident that we could get another fish out of it maybe a barbel sometimes when you catch a chub it'll spook all the other chub but the barbel will be kind of sometimes can hang around so I've got a lot of water down here that could hold some fish and some snags above so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually introduce maybe four handfuls of pellet it's very similar size to what I would put over my actual lead so basically I'm going to put that into the river and come back in maybe half an hour, go and try a couple of other swims. Hopefully that would just be enough bait just to actually maybe get a barbel in the swim. It's not something that I do quite that often, it's just something I've just got a feeling today, just that, you know, now and again if you've got plenty of plenty of water and you haven't disturbed the swim too much um, and you know that the swim contains barbel might be just you know prime a swim let's say a lot of people would actually do that before they fish they would go and prime three or four different swims then drop their bait in whatever I mean I, I don't normally do it I just do it now and again when I have a gut feeling that I might be able to just get something interested and catch one towards the end of the day 